a safe way dedicated to Teddy Roosevelt. I like the way they She's said so it. Well, huh? it's a nice looking on-ramp, but unfortunately, we went the wrong way, so uh, time, to, time to fix that. There's like hardly anyone behind us. They just stopped driving right behind our car because of an Holy accident. Fuck. This is perfect. <laughs> And here we are, bum ba da bum, DigiPan Institute of Technology, our first stop. Alright, finished up at DigiPen, quick one hour tour. It was really cool, they had some interesting games, and I could see like, their undergrads and, and students definitely had some high potential there, they were creating some really professional stuff. Right Anyway, onward to lunch and then Anvil Studio. Right to me and escape. All right, lunch at the Honey Hole <laughs> ahead of the tour of Anvil Studios. It's a really weird restaurant, but I like it already. Let's hope their uh, brisket lives up to the name. Hang gliding lizard. Mm. All right. <laughs> Outside of Anvil Studios right now, Jeff's making the call to let us into the building. This should be interesting. Top secret. The famous Anvil at the end of the hall. Woo! Alright, so uh, we finished our tour of Anvil Studios. I picked up a nice ticket and... Uh... <laughs> $44. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, Brent Haven. Hey, Runus would be happy. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're, we're heading back now. I think we're pretty much done. See what else we can get done in the day. All right, walking to dinner now. After a brief mishap where the first place happened to be, uh, I don't know, closed, we decided to continue onward to another Mexican restaurant because we're in Seattle and it's cultural. ID students in the big city. Welcome to GameWorks Seattle, a gigantic menagerie of lights and loud sounds. A wild air hockey battle between Jeff and Kaylee begins. Physics. Well, that was fun. Air hockey was my favorite as usual. Alright, Tuesday morning in Seattle and we're walking down to the neighborhood of Teague down at the waterfront to grab some breakfast ahead of time for our 9 a.m. tour. It's raining a little today, but it's still quite nice out. Hmm, for breakfast, I approve. But it was all in the group Hmm, donuts from Pike's Place. It's the sun. some food and then head over to Valve and Bellevue. from the Yukon. Alright, went from Valve to Nintendo right away, had a quick tour there. It was interesting to see the progression of their systems and you could see how some of their Easter Eggs and Smash Bros brawl had come from their previous products. Um, but overall their industrial design presence wasn't very strong, so maybe not the most relevant, but still a very cool tour. Well, it's official guys, we have hit rock bottom. Day three of the IDSA trip officially, and we're about ready to tackle our last day. We're starting out with um, Pensar in the morning at 9, then Artifact after that at 11, and finally Olsen Kundig Architects starting at 1. So we're pretty much ready to finish up, like I said. Um, we diagnosed Jess's car trouble yesterday, 
appears to be a low battery, although she's going to get it taken to Napa today and see if it was actually a battery or maybe the alternator because power started running out while we were in the car, headlights were dimming, dash lights were going out, and it was not looking pretty. So hopefully she'll get that fixed. But fortunately there's a replacement driver that we can use and everyone should still be able to get everywhere they need to today. It would be uh, the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> President's pardon? No. Yeah, they can veto that. Too. Constitution? Yeah, that's what Try some coffee ahead of the tours because I've been getting sleepy later. Hey, well, this is your mouth. He's like, this is my favorite I've had in years. Okay. Mmm, a drag show. Scandalous. Pensar was really neat. Um, it looked like a cool place to work. And now we're here at Artifact, waiting for our tour lead to show up and uh, get this thing on the road. Alright, on our way to Olsen Kundig. which means we're done officially with the IDSA trip to Seattle. Woo! <laughs> yes, that's been fun. I <laughs> uh, learned a lot of things, took a lot of notes, and now it's uh, time to grab some stuff, head to the hostel, and, uh, and party it up. Well, here I am in the International District Hostel I'd like to stay in. Um, just checked into the room and looked around a little bit, but I'm going to see about heading someplace to find some good internets. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Poking around a little bit and then heading back for the night. I made it to Starbucks in the International District Plaza there, by the station, and uh, picked up a scone so I could feel justified using the internet. So far, so good. It's a nice place to get back, relax, and do a bit of planning. Well, I'm settling into my hostel room for the night. It's like 8.30. It's actually quite early, but I don't know what to do with the rest of my time here, since the internet is not exactly easy to come by here. I mean, it says it's free, but only for the first, like, 15 minutes, I think. So I'd have 15 minutes of internet, and I want to save that just in case I need it later. Um, but maybe we'll do some sketching and uh, just unwind, really. I'm going to try to get up early for an early start tomorrow. See how things go. I'm planning on... Exploring the Seattle Center area. I'm gonna try to meet up with my friends Morgan and uh, yeah, just check out the EMP, see what's going on there. Take an underground tour. Maybe the Needle, probably not. Uh, it's pretty expensive, and I've already been up once, just a long time ago. And uh, yeah, I'll look around for stuff. Should be fun. Well, after that breakfast at the hostel, I'm off to Starbucks to plan a couple things with their internet, and then to uh, Bill Spidell's famous underground tour. See how that goes, because it should be lots of fun and interesting. On my way to the underground tour now, it should be pretty interesting. Um, remember the way to walk pretty quickly, and I'll definitely get there early, which is a big plus. And here, from the ocean side, is the Pike Place Market. Let's see if I can poke my head in there since the underground tours were it's all around 10.30.
the original Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> gigantic hammering person. Don't exactly know what they're hammering, but they are hammering something in their hand. Alright, I got a bit of downtime at the underground tour here, so I'm in the cafe upstairs. Picked up a uh, banana chocolate muffin so that I'd get priority seating. And uh, yeah, basically I gotta wait for about half an hour and do some sketches until the tour begins. It's a happy accident to get up here as early as I did. This place is starting to get busy. Priority seating could be helpful. On the underground tour. Well, almost. This was taken right here where we're standing. Where we're standing right now is right where that sidewalk was. It's a gold level. Yeah. Of course, the sidewalk's over our head. That's the sidewalk there. Being very resilient and resourceful, these pioneers, when they ran out of brick, they had lots of brick foundry, but sometimes they're just running behind. They also had a lot of ballast uh, from ships. that was, They charged merchants to dump their ballast here. A lot of that ballast came from hills. Anybody need a drink? Cold soda? right up out of the bowl. So what they did to deal with that is they elevated crackers off the floor so that if you have an explosion of geysers coming back out of the pipe on the floor, hopefully it wouldn't uh, uh, top the top of the, of the bowl where you happen to be sitting. Right? Some people think that is the origin of the Zig Zag. Follow me out, folks. Seattle Center. Here will meet my friend Morgan over there and uh, take a look at the EMP Museum. It should be lots of fun. Ah oh, yes, I have returned at last. Finally arrived at the EMP with good friend Morgan, the photographer. It's a good tornado! See much, but we're in the Hendrix Guitar Gallery. Pretty cool place in the EMP. <laughs> oh, mm, the old ideas. Well, here it is, folks, the Star Wars exhibit. Looking forward to touring the rest of it. But what do you mean I failed you for the last time? I mean you failed me for the last time. <laughs> center area we're about to go on stage and make our own band morgan doesn't know what to name our band i don't know what to name our band if you come up with ideas after the fact post them or something look at me guys i'm a companion in the horror movie exhibit all the screaming faces Slightly disturbing that one. Well, we're finished at the EMP now. I'm going to take a quick walk over to Cary Park. The weather is so gorgeous, we're bound to get an excellent view. Man, like, I saw Weather Underground predicted this, but I did not believe them. And I'm glad they were right. Hella backlit video selfie with Morgan walking to Cary Park. 
Okay, it's no longer backlit, so I lied, but it's a video selfie. Check out what we just did. We just walked up these stairs, up this hill. Woo! What a view. And we're not even to the park yet. It's gonna be great. I hope. So, just left Cary Park, and I'm at the bus stop. Say goodbye to Morgan. It was definitely a fantastic trip and a fantastic idea. I'm glad we decided to get together and spend some time in Seattle, visit the EMP and this cool spot. Um, anyway, I'm gonna head back, probably do a couple things real quick and get myself some food. Because dinner would be nice. Spotted. Mmm. Dinner, sweet dinner. Ramen. Real ramen. And my gear, the deer leaks are coming to get us. Well, after nabbing some internet after dinner, I think it's about time to head back to the hostel and start uh, winding down for the evening. See how things go. I probably won't be going to the pinball museum at all tomorrow or today. So that's a sad loss, but there are still plenty of other things I got done and had plenty of fun with. So that's all good. All right, getting ready to check out of the hostel for the last time. Uh, this is the room I've been staying in, and uh, I've been on this bunk bed here for a little while. It hasn't been like five stars, but it's been comfortable enough, and I've enjoyed staying here. Anyway. I'm going to get ready to send off some postcards and, uh, and get out of here. Ah, uh, yes, I have returned to Pike Place. We're going to drop in for lunch at the Steelhead Diner, a place recommended to me by a very close friend. So far, I've really enjoyed it. At least they've got bread and some excellent butter. We'll see how the burger goes. <laughs> well, that was one of the most enjoyable diner burger experiences I've ever had. So thank you very much for that, Michael. Now, onward. You got a bus to the Arboretum. All right, crossing the street. Welcome to Hyrule. Giant chess. Okay, so a couple of interesting things. I just saw a BMW i3 drive by also. This is the closest I've ever been to attending a Comic-Con. Seriously, the convention center is like right there. It's pretty awesome. There is a lady bug on well, there. Well, I mentioned it. Is it us? We're in a timeline. Is it, is it just research going on? It's got propulsion systems. Is it? There's a Riddler and Link. Yes. Awesome. I'm like, I don't know what you are, but you're awesome. I have the electric. There's Captain Jack Sparrow. Yang and Blake from Ruby over there. Right there's Pensar. Pretty cool. Here it is, the Washington Park Arboretum. I intend to explore around here for the next hour while I can, waiting for Emma to come by and grab me. Right, hiking in the Chilean garden area of the Washington Arboretum there. Really enjoying this. It's uphill a bit and a bit of a struggle. Picked up a quick geocache though, so I'm happy about that. And I'm trying to make my way to a Pacific Connection shelter, which looks like it could be pretty interesting as well. Honestly, the foliage here is just amazing, and I've found a couple great angles. You know who the landscape architects were thinking of when you can turn around and things are just as beautiful one way from the, as from the other. So, I applaud them for that. This is just gorgeous, and I'll spend quite a bit of time exploring it, at least as much as I can. Ah, now here is where it really is going to get interesting. Oh my god, I love forest paths so much. Such a beautiful memorial. I'd probably sit down here and like, if I had a book, I would not move for a very, very long time. Why, hello there, Arb Ducks. Do you want to buy a duck? Does it quack? Well, as I was doing a bit of geocaching, I ran into someone who appeared to be doing the same thing I was. So it turned out I came up and spoke to him, and it was a fellow cacher named Dave. He's a Navy veteran, and I had a good time finding the last couple caches with him. Um, it was great to just get out there and engage. One of my uh, roommates at the hostel named Tony said that that was a great way to meet new people and really start to get to know the local area and having taken those words to heart has been very helpful to me, I feel. Um, 
So, continuing back now that I've got to go and uh, change a pace from just sightseeing for myself, I'm going to get picked up and uh, finally hang out with some people I remember and know. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. I spent the night in this studio. And, um, yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I'm getting ready to get started, finally. We're here at the locks to see the uh, Good Time 2 coming through, and uh, I'm about to get lowered onto, uh, onto that. Yeah, that should be really quite newsworthy, yes. Yes. <laughs> well, by golly! The dangerous Canada goes move slowly. They can sense fear. gigantic troll underneath a bridge and crushing a VW bug, but Remont Troll is the only one of its kind that I know of, and the only one that we must slay to preserve the safety of the neighborhood. Brooks sure knows how to make a cool sign, not to mention little running people in the window to show off their products. Walking through to the U District, where hopefully food awaits. It's a magical park post with a bunch of children's books and the Odyssey, which was a Greek children's book. Guys, we're uptown. Well, we had an enjoyable rest of the day, of course. Our evening was spent at a uh, service for George Romancic, a wonderful drummer and person. And, uh... That was a rather late night of also random spaz dancing, but it was good. And now we're here at Carkeek Park, which is up on the coast, uh, the uh, Seattle Wilderness Park area, which is actually quite enjoyable, and it's probably chock full of geocaches I forgot to think to look up, so uh, that's disappointing. <laughs> this is my face, I haven't seen that before. Uh, <laughs> and there's Emma. <laughs> Just hey. place! Name for your kazoo band yet? Um, we have to vote on it, but if you have suggestions, I, like, I guess we could open the poll. I do. How about Son of a Pitch? No. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> That's actually it. I love that. The wild cat has finally been captured by Emma. <laughs> And it's it's hiding its true nature right now. But That's like a moment, really cool silhouette. Isn't it though? The moment we turn off this camera, <laughs> it'll come alive and slaughter us all. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> world below can't bother me. Let me know where I go. Uh -oh. oh, I know this one. It's Matchbox 20. It's freaking good. Lunch downtown with Josh and the gang. <laughs> it's time for man pies. Here we go. <sighs> All right. <laughs> BU truck training is going well. All right, just had my first day of class for industrial design 230, sophomore three. A great lead up to the review. I'm pretty excited. Looks like it's somewhat a repeat of the forms class I took last spring. Um, so, a few things I already know a little bit about doing, fortunately. Now, some of you might notice this footage is being taken on Tuesday, and that's because I'm thinking of moving my vlog release to Tuesday nights. One, because I failed to get it out last night, and two, because there'll be due dates on Tuesdays for some bigger projects. So, I figure I'll be able to handle it then, and uh, moving it to a new time would be a good change of pace. So, keep an eye out for that. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.